to Diamond Dog Training YouTube channel. I'm Joyce and this is Nikki. And today we're going to talk about the difference between luring and capturing. You can lure a dog into any position. You can lure them into a sit. You can lure them into a down. You can lure them while you're walking them and feeding them so they learn where to walk beside you. You can do all kinds of luring. And the idea is that as quickly as you use the food, you try to wean it off, but not too quick. You have to do a lot of reinforcement of the behavior before you actually start to go into the second and third steps. I'm luring her with the treat. She's standing and I'm luring her into a treat. Now, once she's in a sit, then I'm gonna click and reward her. Now, she's up on the bench because it's easier for you to see. Now, this is where it gets a little difficult for me. I only have one hand. She sees the treat in the hand that's luring, but she's being fed by the hand that is in the sling. If anyone has said to you, my dog only works for food, well, that's because you've kept the food too long. Eliminate the treat pretty quickly so that your dog learns to follow a hand signal and doesn't just depend on the food. Even though there's nothing in this hand, she's now learning to follow a signal and not follow the hand that has the treat. You make it look like a signal, like you have a treat, but you don't have anything in that hand. The only treats are in this hand. Be unpredictable. You may want to feed for three or four sits in a row, and then don't feed for a sit, maybe every other sit, or maybe every fourth sit, so that your dog is working for you and not for the food. So the first step is treat in hand, and you're going to lower your dog to the ground or get them to sit or stand, and then you're feeding from the hand that has the treat. Second step is carry the treat in your hand, as you lure them into the position and then feed from the other hand. Third step is don't carry any food in the hand that's the luring hand, feed from the other hand. So your dog starts to say, why are you carrying food in this hand anyway? They are focusing on your signal and not on the treats. Need a couple more treats here. What do I do if I capture a behavior? That means I wait for Nikki to do something, anything. Good girl. Let's see what Nikki might do. Good girl. Down here on the floor. I'm going to capture a stand. Means that maybe I want to brush her. Maybe I want to um, wipe off her paws. I'm capturing a behavior. I'm clicking first, and I could have clicked for the sit and the luring, but I was doing so much talking, I couldn't. So now, Nikki has decided to do a play ball. This is capturing. This is what you're looking for when you capture a behavior. And once you click and reward it, then what happens is your dog will continue to offer it. So Nikki's offering a capture of a play ball. Why would I ever want her to do a play ball? Well, she can't jump on me. She can't jump on guests. Makes me smile, makes her smile. She's having fun and that's all that counts. So that's really the difference between capturing and luring. The mat exercise, which we did last week was capturing. I never put any treats on the mat. It was always simply capturing the behavior. I only worked with Nikki for about two minutes before we started this video and she did a play bow. I clicked and fed her. She did another one. I clicked and fed her. And that's literally two minutes and I had no idea she was gonna offer the play bow. So, because remember, working with dogs is fun, but it's also very humbling. On the bench, good girl, nice job. So, whether you're luring into a behavior, like the sit, okay, or the down, 
or you can capture every one of these. You can capture the sit, you can capture the down, you can capture everything. But remember, you have to capture good behaviors. The only behaviors, okay, now maybe I wanted to teach Nikki to put her paw on my knee. I'm capturing it. I didn't lure it. I love capturing. It's the most wonderful, fun thing in the world. And now I've taught her that I just want one paw on my knee. That's all. Plain and simple. Lots of fun. Have fun with your dog. Remember, your relationship should be based on trust and mutual respect. Have fun. And if you like the episode, please give us a thumbs up for Nikki. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'd love to see some comments. Bye. Thank you.